Hey everybody, this is Butcher. I'm welcome back to Speech Bubble. I got Jeff Bennett here doing the voice of Don, the guard from Nickelodeon. Hey, what? have a nice day. You know the crop is high. Better brody on down and find your space. <laughs> <Hey>. What? <laughs> Roll the music. Uh-huh. I'll play. believe it too, baby. That's right. What I'm saying. So I, I, I believe how handsome Johnny you are. Bravo, iconic character. Now, now, did you know you were going to land that part when you got it? I mean, would, was the first voice you auditioned with that voice? The, here's the odd. Thing. Remember auditioning for Johnny Bravo? Is it, yeah, yes, I do. I can't forget it because I also, I don't know if it was the same week, but they were like within ten days of each other. Right. I had two you auditions. Just, you discover the cure to penicillin. Two different Elvis, right? Kind of characters. Mm, the right. other one was. <clears throat> um, Tex Tinstar. Right. What you did, Bill Cop did that. Bill Cop. Back in the day. Tex Tinstar. Tex oh, Tinstar. Oh, 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 it was a cartoon. Yeah. And yeah, and Pith Possum. And I did I did both of those. I did right. Tex Tinstar. But I thought, I'm not gonna get both of these parts. Right. You know, I really want Tex Tinstar. Van's like Van's like, I'm, I'm like, do you want older Elvis or younger Elvis? Go, oh, younger, younger Elvis. <laughs> I'm like, all right, man. Well, you know, I'm to this thing and I throw in this little ha, ha. You know, he's a, he's yeah. always doing the karate. And I'm like, yeah, I remember him on stage when he was doing like, a, you know, and it's like if he put, if he, if he put something to it, you know, it would be like, hup, ha, hup. you know, he <laughs> did that, probably did that at home, you know, in the mirror. So he put that in. I love that. And, I, you know, I, you know, you know how auditions are, you do it and then you kind of forget about it. Yeah. You, you hope you get it. Yeah, I never forget about it. I, then, I, I'm hurt by every audition. And I didn't then, get. I'm terribly, <laughs> terribly hurt. Yep. Well, we'll start with say a lot, but I'm um, still terribly hurt. By I'm it. terribly hurt. All oh, these. But I, I also auditioned for Tex Ten Star, and they kind of wanted. He's like, no, he's kind of like, you know, when Elvis did those the cowboy movies, and he was he, he did a couple of them western movies, and it was kind of like that. And I was like, oh, I don't boy. understand what you want. I, I don't did. get it. I don't. I understand. did it, but I, I did it, and it was like, well, I won't. I, you know, I won't get that one. I, you know. Yeah. And, and, that, and, that up, and, that, and then Bill Cop found uh, out that I, he said, I, I, I hear you're doing this thing called Johnny Bravo, and it sounds a lot like Tex Tins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I'm like, but you guys both wanted the same thing. Yeah. Uh, what do you want me to do? Yeah. What do you want me to do? I amuse you? What right. do you want me to do? Amuse right. like, you or him? So I was, try, you know, I was trying to keep one sort of like... Hey, I'm Tex Tinstar. I'm the other one. Like, hey, but you, but, you, know, you <laughs> can only change it so much. Like, Elvis is Elvis, so what are you going to do? And Tex, wow. I'm wearing a Tex Tinstar shirt right now. Oh, yeah. That's how big that show got. There you go. I never even heard of that show. I feel bad. I didn't hear about it that was, show. It was part of the, was it Schnookums and Meat Comedy uh, Hour? There we go. There, there were like go. three shows. Yeah. yeah, okay, got it, got it. I never watched that either. I, You're I, also I'm, the head of the Schnookums and Meat fan club, That's right? Of course I am. That's you? right. I'm, I'm, yes. more a, I'm more of a meat guy. Got it. Got and, it. Guy. and Pith Possum, That's superhero right. of tomorrow. All, um, hey. did, did Pith Possum have a Pith helmet on? He must have had a Pith helmet on. This, yes. He must have Very had a Pith similar. helmet. Very yeah. similar. Yeah. Jace, you know what a Pith helmet is? <clears throat> In fact, I do not. What is it, Jace? <laughs> if I'm I had to guess, I had to guess. Go, Jace. I would say it's just another possum on his head. Incorrect. The skin of the possum. <laughs> okay, right? think, of the, think of the Jungle Cruise at Disneyland. You know okay. Disneyland. Oh, I got it. Those guys, got those it. hats, that's what it, it is. Yeah, it's yeah. like a no. safari hat. Okay. And he didn't really have that. No, he didn't have that. <laughs> but he, he had like a little helmet. <laughs> but he was okay. pithy because he but said... But he was very pithy. Oh, yes. Which is completely different. I say. Yeah. I think we should do the rest of the entire podcast in an English accent. What do you think? Why not? I'm talking like Stewie from Family Guy. I'm all for it. <laughs> for every, I want ice cream but no sprinkles. For every sprinkle I find, I shall kill you. <laughs> The great Seth MacFarlane. But Your hey, friend. So, so hey, I've got my I've, my friend. I've got a question for you. Now we always like to uh, encourage people here in the Big Speech Bubble. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And there's actors out there, Jeff, that are dying to do what you do for a living. Encouragement, words of wisdom. Go, Jeff. You have thirty seconds. Oh, I, you oh, know yeah, what? You, I would say more. I would say it's wide open now. It's so wide open. Like before, in the days of old days, cable and reel to reel voice over demos and those reel kind of things. To reel thing, exactly. Yeah. Um, you know, it was it was very different, and it was a, it was a much smaller community. But now, it's so prolific. There's mm-hmm. so, you know a, anybody with a computer is you know now doing a show. Well, that's, they may have a computer, but they don't have any talent. I always say this too. The great thing about guys like you, and especially you, there's very few guys like you. All the great ones I've worked with, and they're great. But no one is like you really, because you can just slip into voices effortlessly, and you're funny on top of it. Your performance is always great. Like there's stuff I've I've written for you, and I'm like, okay, that's a good line. Let's see what you, and you would just you don't need that anymore. Yeah, would kill it every time. You don't need it. You're funny. You don't need it. You're a funny guy. Now it's just very. 
very You're important. You're funny. Thank you. You're a funny person. Thank you so much. I don't want to be a pirate. <laughs> I don't want to be a pirate. I just want to be back in Neverland. Hobson, do you know what I'm going to do? Oh, no. I'm going to take. I'm going to take a bath. Would you like to draw my math for me? <laughs> it's what I live for. It's what I live for. If you would your shirt, your undershirt would take two paces backwards. <laughs>